Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Expert on body language says Sophie has a knack for fitting in, unlike Kate Middleton and Camilla. According to an expert, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh conveys her ability to perform tasks that the Princess of Wales and Queen Camilla are unable to execute through her body language. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, the wife of Prince Edward, was propelled into the royal spotlight after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left when she started taking on more responsibilities, and after Queen Elizabeth's death when she joined King Charles E's slimmed-down monarchy. A body language specialist has observed that Sophie has a knack for something other royals struggle with now that she is receiving greater attention. The Princess of Wales, formerly known as Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla, formerly known as Camilla Parker Bowles, struggle with what Sophie is referred to as a natural at. Sophie excels at something Kate and Camilla do not. Judy James, a body language and behavioral expert, discovered what Sophie did so effectively when she accepted more solo engagements. Sophie has always seemed like the silent royal survivor, an unexpected success story from the generation of royal women that gave us Diana, Fergie, Camilla, and N. James said in an interview with Express, her general approach of keeping her head down and appearing firmly normal and natural made her a poor target for any dramas, allowing her to emerge now with her family life intact and her likability factor exceptionally high. She had her moments of unfavorable media. Sophie does not indulge in celebrity, self-pity, or lecturing. She doesn't look like she just stepped off a catwalk or the cover of Tatler like Kate does, but she does have the kind of visual appeal that makes her approachable. In a time of aggressive branding and public relations pitches, Sophie seems charming and genuine. Despite Sophie's tendency to not seem very royal, James continued, her body language exudes a sense of natural leadership. Sophie exudes the qualities of a true team leader. Expert on body language says Sophie has a knack for fitting in, unlike Kate Middleton and Camilla. According to an expert, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh conveys her ability to perform tasks that the Princess of Wales and Queen Camilla are unable to execute through her body language. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, the wife of Prince Edward, was propelled into the royal spotlight after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left when she started taking on more responsibilities, and after Queen Elizabeth's death when she joined King Charles E's slimmed-down monarchy. A body language specialist has observed that Sophie has a knack for something other royals struggle with now that she is receiving greater attention. The Princess of Wales, formerly known as Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla, formerly known as Camilla Parker Bowles, struggle with what Sophie is referred to as a natural at. Sophie excels at something Kate and Camilla do not. Judy James, a body language and behavioral expert, discovered what Sophie did so effectively when she accepted more solo engagements. Sophie has always seemed like the silent royal survivor, an unexpected success story from the generation of royal women that gave us Diana, Fergie, Camilla, and N. James said in an interview with Express, her general approach of keeping her head down and appearing firmly normal and natural made her a poor target for any dramas, allowing her to emerge now with her family life intact and her likability factor exceptionally high. She had her moments of unfavorable media. Sophie does not indulge in celebrity, self-pity, or lecturing. She doesn't look like she just stepped off a catwalk or the cover of Tatler like Kate does, but she does have the kind of visual appeal that makes her approachable. In a time of aggressive branding and public relations pitches, Sophie seems charming and genuine. Despite Sophie's tendency to not seem very royal, James continued, her body language exudes a sense of natural leadership. Sophie exudes the qualities of a true team leader. She is composed, quiet, sensible, and confident. Kate has the kind of star quality that makes her stick out, rather than blend into a team, while Camilla's leadership signals are minimal because she tends to adapt herself around her spouse, making her appear shy and little uneasy. Sophie seems to have the ability to blend in better than Kate and Camilla do. She seems to blend in so well with the other volunteers on charity trips that it could be simple to forget she is there. Even though Sophie is a member of the diminished monarchy, she can lead something of a normal life. 
King Charles was crowned on May 6, and the monarch and working members of the royal family stepped on the balcony to display a slimmed-down monarchy. In contrast to the Queen and the Princess of Wales, James claims that Sophie will still be able to have a reasonably normal life, despite being a part of it. In James' opinion, Sophie can actually lead a somewhat regular life, which enables her work at food banks and charity stores to be done secretly and allows her to devote more time to assisting, in contrast to Kate and Camilla, a queen and a prospective queen. She can also express her emotions in public at royal occasions like the Queen's burial and is viewed as a dependable, supporting pair of hands by other, newer, or younger royals because to her significantly lower royal position. Chopu's cheat sheet is considered of all backgrounds and recognizes that circumstances and cultures can affect body language. During Trooping the Color, Princess Charlotte and Queen Camilla share a tender moment. During Trooping the Color, Princess Charlotte and Queen Camilla share a tender moment. They rode in a horse-drawn carriage from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade. During Trooping the Color, Queen Camilla and Princess Charlotte had a sweet moment on their way back to the palace. As part of the celebrations in London, the three children of Kate Middleton and Prince William returned to the annual Trooping the Colour ceremony on Saturday. They rode in a horse-drawn carriage from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade. Queen Camilla and the Princess of Wales were with the kids. During the trip, Queen Camilla and Princess Charlotte shared a sweet moment where they both smiled warmly at one another. Following their viewing, the two left social media users grinning. At some terma, a user wrote, that's the best photo. So adorable. That's an iconic photo of Camilla and Charlotte, another commenter said. A third person commented, I love sweet moments like this. Fourteenth user, love the lovely moment. The kids had arrived with Queen Camilla during Trooping the Color, for the second time. The children debuted in the Trooping the Color carriages last year, traveling in the procession alongside their mother, Kate Middleton, and Queen Camilla. King Charles celebrated his legal birthday on Saturday by taking part in the inaugural Trooping the Color of his reign. He participates in the ceremony on horseback for the first time in more than 30 years. The royal family returned to Buckingham Palace after the service. After the Coronation Day display had to be cancelled owing to severe weather, the family gathered on the balcony to witness an extended military flight past. The Battle of Britain Memorial Flight The C-130 Hercules on its final ceremonial flight and contemporary Typhoon fighter jets with a red, white, and blue finanel from the Red Arrows were among the approximately 70 aircraft from the Royal Navy, British Army, and Royal Air Force that participated. Approximately 18 Typhoon fighter jets formed the monogrammed CR honoring Charles Rex, the King. The annual Trooping of the Color is a June ceremony in the royal calendar. The word color, which is trooped in a parade, is an old military term for flag that gave rise to the name. Next week, the Order of the Garda Day Parade and Service will be held in St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, continuing the monarchy's traditions. In addition, a few members of the family will watch the upcoming Royal Ascot horse races. On the estate Charles gave to Prince William, he plans to construct housing for the destitute. In a rare interview, Prince William discussed his aspirations to end homelessness in the UK and, like Princess Diana, educate his own children about the problem. In a beautiful continuation of Princess Diana's legacy, Prince William has committed to abolish homelessness in Britain. William stated to the Times that he will absolutely build social housing on the property he inherited from King Charles in his first interview as the Prince of Wales. The hair acknowledged the difficulty of homelessness but expressed confidence in the UK's ability to end it. This difficulty is not insurmountable, he remarked. All cures the route back, here's the pathway. We can say if somebody does end up homeless. We can visualize that and demonstrate to folks how it is possible. Future King declared his intention to change the narrative surrounding homelessness. There are many preconceived notions about homelessness, he added. Even though many individuals lack basic understanding, there is still stigma, he claims. We simply think, oh, when we see the person on the street, there are a lot of opinions about why that person is there. Because we see more elderly folks living on the streets, you see more of them. 
What we don't see is youth homelessness, which includes folks who couch surf, sleep in their cars, or share a friend's bed. Youth homelessness is largely underreported. It's like a jigsaw, he continued, if you actually sit down and hear from young people why they're in their circumstance. They ended up where they are because there are so many components that had to fit together or fall apart. The passage, center point, and other pieces are pieces that are placed back together. When you put them all together into a single puzzle, a picture appears, and you realize, oh, I get it now. I am aware of what must be done. The 41-year-old heir to the throne said that homeless people will be housed on royal property. When asked if there was a plan in place to use royal property to provide the homeless with a place to live, he responded, there is. Absolutely. Affordable housing. When it is prepared, you will see that. I advocate it where I can, despite not being an expert in policy. Prince William was brought to a homeless shelter by Princess Diana when he was 11 years old. In order to introduce the young prince to the problem, the princess, who would be 61 at the time, escorted him to the passage. He is now contemplating how to educate his own children about homelessness following in her footsteps. When he departed this morning, he said to the Times, I was wondering when is the best moment to send George, Charlotte, or Louise to a homeless organization. They will undoubtedly be exposed to it once I can balance it with their academics. We discuss what we see on the way to school. We frequently use to notice. Individuals sitting outside of supermarkets as we were going back and forth around London, and we would chat about it. I would ask the kids, why are they there? What's happening? Exposing the kids at the proper age and in the correct conversation seems to be in everyone's best interests and the moral thing to do. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our Royal Family Fans channel to get more updates in the future.